want to do? Believe it, believe it, believe it. Even if you don't believe, play the game. Believe. Act as if you believe. That is power. That is sheer power. And it will happen. Believe you me. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. If you can't control your own brain, and your brain controls you, you're you gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. Think about every poor decision you've made in your life. There was more emotion that was involved in it than there was mind. Every single one of them. Think about it. Really. Your feelings keep you in bed. Your mind tells you, get up. When I wake up in the morning, I don't think, am I motivated to go do what I'm supposed to do? No. When the alarm clock goes off, I have no thought about whether this is easy, whether this is hard, whether I want to do it, whether I don't want to do it. None of that matters. It's an emotionless, thoughtless discipline. When the alarm clock goes off, you get up, you get out of bed, and you go do what you're supposed to do. I don't care how it feels. I don't care if it's easy or hard. I don't know what your future is. But if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. The more people believe in you or like you or help you or support you, the more people hate you because it creates an opportunity for envy. The only way to avoid it is to stay down. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up. And you have to decide, are you so concerned about being bitten that you're willing to spend the rest of your life laying dead? Or is there something pumping down inside of you that says, bite me or not, I'm getting up. I'm going to be the best me. I'm going to do all I can do, even if it risks you hating me. I'm going for it. Listen to me, man. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. But quit tripping during the process. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you.